Hey, what's up guys, Mike here, and today I'm going to give you a quick look of CyanogenMod Mod 14 running on the OnePlus 3. Now, this is in fact running the latest version of Android 7.0 Nougat. Now, some of the things that are not working in this particular version is the camera, you cannot make a phone call, and the alert sliders are pretty busted. None of that is working, so be aware of that. It's not a daily driver. Let's go ahead and dive into it. Right up front, we do have our new notification shade. So when you dive into this, we will have our expandable notifications, which is pretty sweet. So for example, if I send somebody in a specific conversation through text, a quick reply, I can go in here and toggle through my different conversations. Another really cool feature is the quick setting toggles are going to be completely customizable. So I can go into an edit mode and I can add, remove certain toggles and I can even go in, rearrange them to my liking. Now there is still going to be a night mode option that is available if you download the night mode enabler app. And I'll leave that in the description down below if you're interested. Once you get that enabled, you can actually dive into a specific setting category and you can enable some specific features for that. Now when you dive into settings, there's going to be some other stuff through here that is more nougat oriented so you will have summarized categories throughout your panel systems so you will be able to get a nice little breakdown before you dive into a specific setting you can also swipe over from the left and you'll see another category that you can choose from so if you're in a specific menu you can go back and forth through swiping over it makes it a little bit more practical a little bit more convenient now as i mentioned the alert sliders are not working but you will find these in your additional button features so with this additional button feature for the Cynogen mod ROM, you will also see that you can swap your recent. So you can go back and forth and you can make it more of a Samsung style device. So you only have options for your physical keys right now. The software keys will probably come later if you want to enable those. You also have gestures just like with your original Oxygen OS. So you can actually do camera, music, flashlight gestures and you can enable or disable the haptic vibration motor feedback if you choose that option now ambient display is going to be a little bit more customizable in this particular rom as well as you can actually use your tilt sensors or your proximity sensor values here and there's a lot to choose from in your certain customization modes so this is fully functional i didn't have any issues activating the display in ambient mode and i didn't have any issues with the tap to wake or tap to sleep options which you'll find in your display settings so this is all operational Double tap to sleep works, double tap to wake works, and hovering my hand over will activate the display with the ambient display, so that's pretty awesome. Now they do have a breakdown for the DPI if you wanna increase or reduce the screen size here with the display setting size menu in display as well. So you can actually go, and for example, if you're using the Nexus launcher like I am, you will by default have four columns for your icons. Now, if you go into a smaller scale in your DPI size, you will actually enable another column. So get five instead of four. So that's pretty awesome that we can choose that on a default stock or with Cynogen Mod 14. You can also reduce or enlarge the size of the text or font as well in your display features. Now multitasking is in this ROM and it is functional. However, it is missing a couple features. So the only way to activate multitasking on Cynogema 14 currently is you have to long press the app, swipe up to the top of the display to activate it. And then you'll be able to go into your other window mode from there. Everything else is gonna be completely functional, but you don't have your long press recents button in order to access your multi-functionality. So it's technically working in this build. Now, the only thing I have left out is the dash charging. So dash charging isn't in this particular build just yet. We do have kind of a rapid charging, definitely a faster charging than most devices out there. As you can see here, it still charges at a pretty decent rate. Screen on time was pretty decent as well. I was getting roughly five to six hours with some pretty heavy usage, but that pretty much sums up this entire ROM right now in terms of a quick look. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hit that like button like a boss. Check the description if you want to get the links to install or flash this. And subscribe to the channel if you want to support me in future videos. And as always, I will catch you guys in the next one.